Bible, and with the help of my teacher, identity is something I struggle with throughout my middle school years. Have you ever struggled with identity? No two people knew me the same. I felt as if my identity was dictated by the people I was with at the moment. For example, with one group of friends at school, I was very outgoing and funny. I could be the life of the party. You might think that the way I present myself at church would be pretty constant, but even there, I felt my identity being split. I had life group friends and then another group of friends at church. I felt like I couldn't be with both groups at the same time, and because of that, I felt like I was constantly missing out on something. You could say I have major trauma. I was different with everyone, constantly scared of being judged if I would do something that didn't fit the mold of who they thought I was. The world defines identity as the fact of being who or what a person or thing is. There's no meaning behind that. Telling someone who you are is simply who you are is not very helpful. I looked at many verses in the Bible and read articles to form my own definition of identity. My identity is to make disciples of the Lord and to use my gifts that Christ has given me to show the world what a Christian is, to build a relationship with God and to be with him daily and to one day join him in heaven. My identity is rooted in the fact that I was created in the image of God and am completely loved by Him. I truly believe that starting fresh at Southwest Christian High School, it allowed me to really focus on who I am in Christ and not worry about my, how my faith appears to others. I not only know who I am, but who I can become through Christ. I cannot wait to grow daily into the person that God has planned for me to be, no matter how many mistakes I've made. A couple of verses that have helped me to create this testimony are Genesis 1:27. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. In Jeremiah 1, 5. Before you, I formed you in the womb. I know you before you were born and set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Thank you.